Hey, what's going on everyone? So just a little more information on the video I made yesterday in regards to why single family homes, duplexes, triplexes, and really even fourplexes don't make money over the long term unless you experience or have a market that goes up three, four hundred percent in a very short period of time. The reason for that and something I've learned over the last five or six years. And again, you learn this stuff as you invest in real estate. But one thing you guys want to learn from is from other people's mistakes. Now, I'm not saying that what I invested in was a mistake, but knowing what I know now, I would always try to aim bigger. Here's the reason for that. A duplex, for example, that you think makes $500 per month does not make $500 per month because I'm telling you right now, chances are you do not have a cap x expense in there you don't have a property management expense in there and the most important thing is that cap x expense and what that is is things like repainting the entire building repainting uh individual units will probably go under repair but a furnace a hot water tank windows all these things you usually have to replace after 10 15 20 years now, let's just, you know, dissect this a little bit. Let's say that uh, right now to repair your roof is about $6,000. Well, if you're making $500 per month, like you think you are, well, if you need to replace your roof today at $6,000, that means that's one year of cash flow gone. But I can tell you for certain that that $6,000 roof that you're going to pay for today, 10 years from now, will probably be a $12,000 roof if not more because of inflation so now that wipes out two years of cash flow then you have things like a furnace again about five or six thousand dollars which you need to replace usually every 10 to 15 years so there again is another two years worth of cash flow so now you're at four years of negative cash flow then you have windows which have gone up so much trust me i just had to replace uh, 24 windows in this house alone and uh, right there was about uh, close to twenty thousand dollars now of course you're not going to need to replace all 20 windows but you know tenants things happen and you will have a broken window which is about five hundred dollars a pop and you can expect that that's going to con going to continue to go up over time a hot water tank to get it delivered installed by a professional is about a thousand dollars you can say that in 10 years from now it's going to be two thousand dollars so there's another half a year in cash flow gone so what i'm saying is that just your capex expense if you're not accounting for that capex chances are you're not accounting or you're not getting cash flow for a five, six, seven year period. And this is the problem with small deals and why I think that honestly, the bread and butter is six units or above because generally you have a unit or two paying for your mortgage and property taxes. Then you have another unit paying for your property management, insurance, and some other fees. Then you have another unit paying for your vacancy and repair. Then you have another unit paying for your capex. And that last unit or two is what's truly going to be cash flow. So my goal going forward is only to buy buildings six and up. And quite honestly, now I'm really only looking at buildings that are 12 units and above because the bigger you go, the safer it is when it comes to real estate. And that's just because that you have more people paying you. Now, yes, the, if you have a bigger building, that technically means that it, there's going to be more repairs in terms of dollars so that's why it is better to go bigger but at the end of the day that 12 unit building has one roof right and it has one boiler system or it's an electric heat which you know to me is what my uh, my preference is is that i like to be all individually metered and the tenants pay for their own uh, electric heat but go bigger it is always better when it comes to real estate